Hey booze, what's up? It's your girl Jasmine and Kia coming to you guys with something super cute, fun. What's up? This is a nice Christmas glam video. I cannot believe Christmas is next week. So I'm going to be serving you guys a whole bunch of glam with this new backdrop and of course this new hair. Yes, I am living, living. So I did a super cute look. Me and my man are just going to go to a little party or something. Nothing major. I showed you guys, of course, how I got this look. So if you would like to see, stay tuned. All right, so diving right into it. Um, of course, around my hairline is the Ghost Bomb wig glue. I let that sit when I'm doing my makeup instead of like stopping what I'm doing and getting the blow dryer out. It's just much easier to do it this way. So if you see my videos and it's that way, that's what's going on here. I'm using the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NC45 as an eyeshadow base. I haven't really concluded if I like this base on my eyes or not. Sometimes I feel like it gets splotchy. This time around, it did the trick, so no complaints. But I don't know, I have had some bad experiences with it, so I'm just going to keep playing around with it. Um, for this look, I went in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Prism Palette. Um, I'm trying to use like one palette for several different looks instead of just dropping one look and then getting rid of the palette and putting it into my collection. So I'm going in with the nice orange color that's in the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. I also use a nice rosy color from the Huda Beauty palette. I do like that palette. Um, however, I do feel like Anybody darker than me, maybe not have the best of luck with that. So I'm just going back and forth with the Prism Palette and the Stasia Beverly Hills Palette. I wanted this look, since I was wearing red hair, to be very like festive and pretty and all that jazz. I've also been watching a lot of cut crease videos where they're really, really, really packing on the color in the crease. I noticed that if you don't have a lot of color in your crease, when you go to cut it, it won't really be a cut crease. Like, it won't look like a cut crease. It'll just kind of look like very precise lid color. So, I've been putting more color into my crease, and I do like it. So, now I'm going in with the black that's in the ABH Prism palette, and I'm really going to slowly but surely pack that on. Um, this is a 217 brush by MAC Cosmetics that I use. However, I did take, like, a fluffy brush in between takes and just make sure it was, like, all buffed out because I did want the black to be very, very black on the outer corner. Um, this pimple right here is just really hating on me. I'm not quite sure. It was like enormous and then I popped it like two days prior and it just was like a huge red spot. So yeah, I, I'm not quite sure why it was trying to hate on me, but that's the verdict on that. Um, so yeah, that's actually a clean brush and that's actually like a very small detailer brush from MAC Cosmetics. So that's what I mean when I'm saying I'm going back and forth with um, different brush types to make sure that black is nice and blended. Now I'm going in with the synthetic fiber brush from MAC Cosmetics. It's actually like a flat angle. It looks kind of like a flathead screwdriver. I love this for cutting my crease. And I'm using the Anastasia, not Anastasia, Ambrosia Cosmetics Eye Base. It's bright white and it's very kind of tacky, sticky almost. Um, it takes some getting used to to work with. But I do like it a lot more than the MAC Cosmetics Paint Pot. I feel like it stays longer and I feel like the crease is much more precise. However, it is a little adjustment getting used to using it. So that's why you see me here being very, very, very cautious. I even like put this mirror down that I'm holding and began to like start doing my crease in another mirror off camera because it was just getting like way too difficult to try to keep my hand steady and hold the mirror at the same time. So that's what I'm doing. It's a white eyeshadow base. With this base, you do need to make sure that it dries before you put your shadow down. If you do not let it dry before you put the shadow down, your shadow will kind of sink into the eyeshadow and, and it'll look really like splotchy and like thick and just make sure it's dry. So once I got done cutting my crease, I came back with this black color because I really, like I just said, I really needed to make sure that the lid color was dry before I put a color on. So that's just me just trying to make sure it's even. I added Inglot gel liner off camera to my eyes and the color on my lid is the like soft shimmery color in the Anastasia Prism palette like the it's I'm pretty sure it's on the bottom of the palette so I'm going on with Dr. Grant Pores no more and as you see that stuff just gets my skin together I freaking love that stuff um I did have to color correct since that pimple was hating on me that's just the orange corrector from LA girl 
Um, I styled my hair a little bit on camera because I am going to be doing an in-depth hair review for this company probably within the next few days. So I wanted you guys to see what it looks like when I styled it. Of course, my man is in the back helping me get dressed because we're running late for usual. And here's the finished look. Pretty quick and simple today, guys. I just wanted to get this video out for you. And yeah, I like it. Tell me what you think. Make sure you like and subscribe. Comment below what you would like to see. Also, follow all my social media handles. I'll have them listed below.